Get ready for my five minute ab routine. The reason why it's called a five minute ab routine is you're gonna do five exercises, one minute total. You don't get any rest for five minutes. You're gonna make it continuous, burn those abs out. Let's do it. The first move that we're doing is gonna be leg raises. So you're gonna hold on to the back of the bench, scoot your butt down to the edge. You're bringing your hips up, legs straight down. You got one minute here. Hips up, legs straight down. Hips up, legs straight down. So you're pointing your hips to the sky, pointing your toes to the sky. Coming down without touching. Don't come too low. Knees can be slightly bent. That's completely fine. Point those toes up, back down. Butt up, lower slow. All right guys, we're not stopping. We're taking a five pound dumbbell, dumbbell placing it in between our feet. You're gonna support yourself with your hands. Knees in, legs out straight, squeezing that dumbbell. Legs out straight. Work those lower abs. So you're kind of crunching in, leaning back slightly. Crunch in, lean back. Crunch in, lean back. One minute here, come on. Burn them out. Breathe. Ooh, I'm already feeling it. The weight, knees out, lean back. Knees in, lean back. Working every section of your abs with this one, aside from obliques. All right, immediately after this, we're taking the dumbbell. You're not resting. We're doing Russian twists with a press. You're going to the side, press up, side, Press up, keep those feet up, that's the hard part. Stay balanced while your upper body is moving. Stabilize your core, come on. Press up, twist, press up. Keep yourself balanced, you should be feeling really hard at this point. Really hard, really hard at this point. Press up, almost there, finish the minute. Stay balanced, I know it's tough. Balance, balance. Burn, burn, burn. You got it. All right, the next thing we're doing is taking a dumbbell. You're gonna lean back, toes to the edge. All you're doing is bringing one leg up, back down. One leg up, back down. Opposite hands, opposite ankle. Back down, you got 30 seconds each side on this one to total out for one minute. One leg up. Switching sides, come up. Really make sure you're lifting that upper body. Dumbbell comes over by your head. Lift, crunch down. Feel those abs working. You should be feeling them burning at this point. You guys got it, one minute left after this. All right, we're dropping the dumbbell. We're going straight into crunches to finish it off. Feet on the bench, heels up, crunching. Work those upper abs. It should feel a lot easier than the other ones. Come on, finish it. We're gonna get to those five minutes. Don't let yourself quit, crunching up, back down. If you guys wanna do this on the ground, you can. Crunch up, crunch up, come on. Finish it, finish it. You got one minute, you're almost done. Don't lose that tempo. Keep it going, don't let yourself stop. You're almost done. Envision, six, six pack, six pack. <laughs> you're lifting your upper body straight up, as high as you can. Couple more. 
finish that minute. All right. All right, guys, you shouldn't be able to really flex those abs at this point. They should be burning, they should be fatigued. If you wanna do this multiple days a week, you can. The thing that really changed for me with doing abs was adding weights. Before I would just do body weight, I would do planks, and it really helped with feeling my core, but I didn't feel stronger. So when I, when I started adding the weights and started always varying my ab exercises, doing different moves every time I trained them, that's when I started to notice the most improvements. 